All right, so none too much to say going into this one. I just want to see what the hell is about to happen because it's about to go down. So let's see. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Oh, just opening straight out the gate. Okay. Interesting. And this isn't even the kind of opening that I can really notice anything to comment on. Like, huh? Hmm. It's just like things are happening. Familiar characters. Bunch of Titans. But I, I can't notice like any fixation, any... But I guess it seems like Colossal and Armored will come back at some point during the season. Then Eren. Eren versus Armored Titan. I guess that's the one thing I can really figure out. Beast Titan. Beast Titan could probably get in a fist fight with Colossal. Well, then again, Colossal is like taller than the wall, so maybe not. I might be off on interpreting some of the scale of the Titans. I know Eren could definitely match Armored. What? The hell? That was interesting. We're like seeing more abnormalities and more like individuality among Titans. At least it's being shown to us. Maybe it's just always been there. But only now when things are unraveling are they being shown. Yep, that's Utgard. <laughs> Shit is aged. And this girl right here. Oh. But again, yeah, nothing. No, no, not that simple. Wishful thinking, man. But I know it's too deep, too deep to tell anything.
Uh huh. Oh, dude, that's his fucking mom. This bitch just most obnoxious human. Not originally, obviously. Oh my god. Huh. Well. Wait, she could read it. And she just realized that she revealed it. Yo. Yo, you fucked up. You fucked up. What do you know? Uh. And this is right before. Okay, and that's right when that happened. Right. I was wondering about the, the time frame there. I was like, wait, were they hiding down there? But it hadn't happened yet. You get the pros going at it. Oh, look at the the little titans. Well, that's one way to block off the door. Huh. I wonder if those were kids that turned into Titans. Yo, some got in. Yo. And this sucks that this has to distract from the fact that Ymir and the blonde girl are implicated as knowing more than they should. Yo. For now. Uh. Uh. Oh. That's when you just slowly close it, put it back, walk away. 
<laughs> For like that door was gonna hold them. Boy, you better run up them stairs. Well, what's fucked up is yeah, he, they don't have any gear. Oh shit. Oh shit. Kid Reiner was saved by his friend. Oh, and the other guy who I, I, I'm blanking on his name. Run, motherfuckers. But I guess they got to hold it down for everybody else. Bertolt, yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, the, the cobweb on the front of it. Bash him. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. The Uh, Connie, 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 move, move. Fuck's sake. But for what enemy was placed here for? Oh, interesting. Probably Titans. Yo, Reiner. Reiner. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god, Reiner. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Oh my god. Boy, you better hurry. Uh, push that motherfucker out. Don't give him time to recover. Exactly. Done. Fuck out of here. But Reiner, he got bit badly. He's not going to be able to do anything. Thank God they're not zombies. I guess that, yeah. Might as well. Gotta marry her. Just spit on it. Dude, Reiner went full badass. Motherfucker carried it out the window. Uh, I'm happy we got something about Reiner. About his past. And Berto too. Whoa. What the, what? What the fuck did he mean by that? 
that was totally some warrior shit. So does he know something? I hate you guys being so like. Now there's like three people in that room that to be concerned about. But at the same time, it doesn't matter because everyone's trying to live. So like everyone's just kind of like playing along. It's just. It's like weirdly tense. Uh, wait, rocks are being thrown. Oh, my God, that was a well placed shot. So, who's throwing them? Shit. The, oh, the Beast Titan? Dude, and he's sending even more. They're fucked. But why so many towards these guys? Yeah, this is totally, totally strategy. Yo. You hear a scream like that and you know you're fucked. But where is the Beast Titan going? He's like, yeah, okay. He's confident they're going to fuck shit up over there. So where's he going? Oh, shit. The infrastructure of this castle is just... Yeah, I was about to say. Hopefully Aaron and, and company get here soon. Oh man, don't resign yourself now. Come on, man. Oh no. Yo. Fuck. Is he even alive? He got thrown pretty hard. Oh my goodness. She's fucked. Unless, nope. <laughs> wow. Right, they used it all for Reiner. I was going to say, that's such a cruel fate. Damn. Damn. That's almost funny, but that's fucked up. Dude. What? Father? Damn, she was she was flashing back there. RIP shit. Ooh. 
Facts. Oh. What's she about to do? Oh no. What is she? Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Thought she was about to stab Connie. Okay. But what did but what did they know? What the fuck is she doing with just a knife? She can't maneuver. What the fuck is her plan? <gasps> She's a Titan. Oh my fucking goodness. Oh my god. No fucking wonder. She just needed a way to injure herself. Yo. Yo. Yo, of course. Why didn't I see that coming? <laughs> well, she's a titan. Willing to reveal her position, I guess, for the sake of saving Krista at the very least, or herself, probably. I don't know. She, maybe she doesn't expect to survive. Or at least that she won't definitely won't be allowed to return to them. So that, yeah, that would be goodbye either way. Fuck's sake. You know what's funny? Someone like her being a Titan almost seemed too obvious, judging just by how cold she was. Like she kind of reminded me of Annie in that sense. I don't know, but she never revealed like too much talent. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Like, Annie was just too good in general. Excuse me. That's the thing. It's too complex with humans being able to turn into Titans. Like, they have their own personal stakes. Like, the one who seems really true to an agenda is the Beast Titan. Everyone else is just kind of like, okay. All right, Ymir's a Titan. Hopefully, whatever she does here can save them. But whenever Eren and company get there, which will probably be next episode, because of course it will be, um, Eren might, I don't know what they're going to do in response. That again, they already have the lead going there about Krista and Ymir. Well, they, they got a warning about Krista specifically from the wall guy, wall priest. Um, and then there's just so much more he's hiding, and he's saying it's too big of a decision for him to reveal on his own, which is strange, but I guess it would make sense if it's about something so grand, you know. Uh, Shit, fuck it, man. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm, I'm just ready to see what happens next. So, see why, y if Ymir survives, if we get anything more about why she can read that language. Like, does it seem like ancient or just before her time? So, 
why would she be able to read it unless she was taught somehow? I don't know. Very sus. A lot of sus stuff. So we'll see. Um, thank you for watching with me. I'll see you next time. Peace.